Today is January 8th, 2022. My name is Charles Suter. Today I'm presenting part 17 of my series, The Rational Mind, A Guide to Rational Living. Focus of this presentation is on human relations. My main message, rationalists give to others what he wants to receive in return. Everyone has social needs, but these needs are not always satisfied in the way a person wants them. It may be paradoxical, but the best way to ensure you get your own needs met is to first give away to others those specific social needs you lack. People tend to reciprocate and give back in kind what they receive. When you give attention, respect, kindness, consideration, support, friendship, and love to others, you gain their appreciation. When you start giving others valuable social considerations, these people will seek you out, often giving back the very same social gifts that you gave them. So a rationalist knows that he need not wait for his social needs to be net, met by happenstance because he can begin a proactive campaign to influence others in ways that they mutually satisfy each other's social needs without his even asking or seeking it directly. In a social situation, if you are unsure how to respond, just give others psychological support, similar to the social needs you are, you are lacking at the moment. If you're feeling insecure, then give reassurance. If you're feeling lonely, then give attention. If your feelings are hurt, then give forgiveness. Proposition 1. To fill your own unmet needs, it's already stated, first fill the social needs of others. Stop playing the waiting games. Take the initiative and give to receive. Everyone has social needs, so when you satisfy others' needs, you gain attention. People are drawn towards those who satisfy their own social needs. A rational person is willing to give others what he wants. From his inexhaustible supply of social amenities, something of value to other people such as civility, cheerfulness, and consideration, or whatever he would like to receive in return. This rational principle, give to receive, is not unlike the golden rule, given to others what you would like to receive in return. It will not be long before people will seek you out to receive more of the positive vibes that you're giving away. You will become more popular, sought out by others, have influence where you may not have had it before. And soon, you will begin receiving back what you so freely gave away. You will never be without friends and love when you give the same qualities away to everyone. Proposition 2. People are sensitive to social slights, whether they be real or imagined. People with low self-esteem are especially sensitive to perceived social slights. You need to be less sensitive and the less sensitive you are, the less often your feelings will be hurt. If others get offended, then make an effort to ease their hurts with assurances. The best way to make and keep relationships is to stay focused on the positive. If interactions turn negative, forgiveness should be your first response to social slights, resulting in less emotional distress from disagreements to all parties. When you are less sensitive and not so easily offended, you can immediately shift contentious disagreements into open and honest conversations. An argument, dispute, or conflict is just a good opportunity to discuss each other's sensitive topics and behaviors. Healthy relationships grow with an honest exchange of thoughts and feelings so that disagreements do not get out of hand and remedy quickly without damaging the relationship. Open and honest communication can only strengthen a relationship for the betterment of everyone. Proposition 4. There are few relationships that are free of conflict and problems. Relationship problems are best solved with compassionate, open conversations. The more readily you forgive others, the more readily others will forgive you. Mend any relationship breach as quickly as you can with reproachment. A rationalist accepts 
that there will be disagreements and sometimes conflicts between themselves and others. He is prepared to defend his options rationally with facts and evidence, but he does so in a spirit of inquiry and mutual respect. He is prepared to listen to the opinions of others because he wants others to listen to him. By giving others airtime to express their opinions, he draws out the opinions of others for a healthy review of its rationality based upon the evidence. When you listen, others are likely to reciprocate. When you don't know how to help others as they wrestle with their own muddled thinking, you can just give them the non-judgmental social support you would want if you were in their place. My final message, whatever social needs you desire to receive, give it to others first. The key to human relationships is sensitivity to the needs of others. A rationalist has social needs just like everyone else, and they are proactive about satisfying those social needs by giving what they want to receive. The strategy a rationalist uses to make and keep value-for-value value relationships is to satisfy the social needs of others whenever possible. By doing so, he makes himself more socially attractive to others, such that others want to spend time in his company and reciprocate. A rationalist handles disagreements and social slights with positive confrontation, open communication and forgiveness to find common ground, supporting the other person as he strives to express and adjust his opinions in the spirit of cooperation, truth finding, and relationship building. Well, that's all for now. Remember to stay positive. You'll be happier, healthier, and live longer.